happy is the mother that bore you and nursed you. <laughs> Rather, how happy are those who hear the word of God and obey it. I'd like to know this man. Do you think he might be the Messiah? I don't know. Jerusalem, I think. This Pharisee invited Jesus to have dinner with him, and Jesus went to his house and sat down to eat. Come along, children. Off you go. You heard me. Go. Yeah, up to all the mischief going, but good, son. <laughs> what is she doing here? I don't know. Two men who owed money to a moneylender. One owed him 500 silver coins, the other 50. Neither of them can pay him back, so he cancelled the debts of both. Which one then will love him more? I suppose that it would be the one who was forgiven more. You are right. You see this woman? I came into your home. You gave me no water for my feet. She has washed my feet with her tears and dried them with her hair. You did not welcome me with a kiss. But since I came, she has not stopped kissing my feet. You provided no olive oil for my head. Yet she has anointed my feet with perfume. I tell you then, the great love she has shown proves that her many sins are forgiven. But whoever is forgiven little shows only a little love. Your sins are forgiven you. Your faith has saved you. Go in peace. I... Jesus traveled teaching the good news of the kingdom of God. And the 12 disciples went with him, and so did some women who had been healed of evil spirits. Mary, who was called Magdalene. Joanna, whose husband, Chusa, was steward in Herod's court. And Susanna. Herod, the Roman appointed ruler of Galilee, threw John the Baptist in prison because he had condemned his marriage to his brother's wife. Well, as we arrived at the gate of Nain, a funeral procession came out. The dead was the only son of a widow. When Jesus saw her, his heart was filled with compassion. He, he touched the coffin and said, Young man, get up, I tell you. Then the dead man sat up. And Jesus gave him back to his mother. Ask him, say, are you the one John said was going to come? Or should we expect someone else?
Master. Master. John the Baptist sent us to ask if you are the one who is going to come, or should we expect someone else? Go back and tell John what you have seen and heard. The blind can see, the lame can walk. How happy are those who have no doubts about me. Under my shoulder. Can you see now? I can see Jesus. A sower went out to sow his seed. And as he scattered the grain, some of it fell by the path and was trodden on. And the birds of the air devoured it. And some fell on rocky ground. And when the plants sprouted, they withered away because they had no moisture. And some seeds fell among thorns. And the thorns grew up with the plants and choked them. And some seeds fell in good soil. And the plants grew and bore grain, 100 grains each. Master, why do you speak in parables whenever a crowd is near? The knowledge of the secrets of the kingdom of God have been given to you. But to others it comes by means of parables, so they may look but not see, and listen but not understand. This is what the parable means. The seed is the word of God. The seeds that fell along the path stand for those who hear. But the devil comes and takes the message away from their hearts in order to keep them from believing and being saved. The seeds that fell on rocky ground stand for those who hear the message and receive it gladly. But they have no root. They believe only for a while. And when the time of testing comes, they fall away. The seeds that fell among thorns stand for those who hear. But the worries and riches and pleasures of this life crowd in and choke them. And their fruit never ripens. And the seeds that fell in good soil Stand for those who hear the message and retain it in a good and obedient heart. And they persist until they bear fruit. No one lights a lamp and covers it with a bowl or puts it under a bed. Instead, he puts it on the stand so that the people may see the light as they come in. Whatever is hidden away will be brought out into the open. And whatever is covered up will be found and brought to light. Be careful, then, how you listen. Because whoever has will be given more. But he who has not will have taken away from him even the little he thinks he has. Teacher, your mother and brothers are standing outside. They want to see you. My mother and brothers are those who hear the word of God and obey it. One day, Jesus got into a boat with his disciples and said to them, let us go across to the other side of the lake. And as they were sailing, he fell asleep. Swamping his widow drought! Help us, Master! Oh. 